everybody, this is Dan Bigman, your GPR professor from LearnGPR.com, and I'm coming at you today with a quick little video just on a project that we're doing some locating of uh, reinforcements inside of a concrete slab. It was a wall, actually a concrete wall, and it's a, just a perfect example of how using very basic filtering can actually help you identify targets that were obstructed by other signals. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you here uh, um, our data. All right, so as you can see, okay, kind of zoom in a little close there. As you can see here, we have two uh, uh, targets, right? Uh, one, two, and I know my, my markers are off, so don't. that's not where the, the peak of the target is, nonetheless. Um, here and here, on the top, we have the top of the, of the wall, the face of the wall, and then appears to be the back of that wall. Now, when we filtered it out, you can see we actually identified uh, a number of other one, two, three, four reinforcements that were very, very close to the back end of that wall. Um, but those were completely obstructed, right, with this horizontal banding. And I mean, if I kind of zoom on in, um, right, you know, even if you would do this, so you can really just begin to see that it's tough to make that determination, right, without the filter. However, once we filter it, you can clearly see individual reflection events. Um, these two may be multiples. I don't think they are. They really do occur in line with these others. Um, so I don't think that they're multiples of, of these. I think that this that we have two on top and then one, two, three, four over here. Uh, this is an air wave as we're coming up on kind of an overhang. And so we started getting that reflection event as we got closer and closer to that overhang. Um, but just a, a, you know, wanted to quickly give you a, a heads up, give you an example of how you can utilize filters, even very basic filters, in order to help you identify your targets of interest. Be careful that you're not removing your targets of interest when you remove the background noise. And so, uh, um, you know, you, you use it cautiously, know what you're doing. And um, if you like this video, if you found that it was a good example, then please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, and then if you haven't done so yet, pop over to learngpr.com, put your name and email address in and get our free training videos sent to your inbox every single week. Thanks.